All right, so welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I am uh, uh, actually unusually painting in my hometown uh, where I live, which is uh, which is really strange. Um, I'm usually somewhere else, but there's really some cool spots around town here, and I really should take advantage of that and spend a little more time um, kind of driving around and, and searching my own community because I'm actually surrounded by some pretty amazing beauty here as well. As a matter of fact, I'm standing in a spot right now I've never been before, and I've lived here for nearly 20 years, so um, I'll show you this. Don't cry when you see it, and I know. I should have been here a long time ago, but um, as a matter of fact, I probably would have been, but there used to be these huge warehouses right here, and it didn't even seem like you could access this riverfront from <clears throat> here, but <clears throat> excuse me, it looks like uh, plenty to paint back in there too, but today I picked this out right here, and um, obviously I've been painting some water lately, so I'm going to kind of stick with that theme today, I guess, and I've got a little bit of a sketch going. Um, and uh, I'm going to kind of catch this uh, this sycamore tree uh, in the very foreground here where that branch kind of hangs over and then I've got some uh, distant trees and obviously the river's quite nice so um, I'll get this painting going and let's see what we can do with this.
Okay, so I've got uh, I've got the beginning of this uh, beginning of this painting started here, and now uh, now I'm going to move on to uh, kind of the middle part, which is really which is just really all about uh, kind of pushing and pulling and refining. Uh, there's a lot of that. This this is going to be a pretty light. Uh, light tree up here this sycamore so I'm just basically darkening the sky just just for now until I figure out where I'm headed with it so um, So this this railing uh, that goes along the top of this, except for the sycamore, which I just indicated, I'm going to come back at the very end and put that in. Um, but this railing that runs along here is going to it's going to cross all everything that's going on in the background here. So before I can put that in, um, I really need to define uh, define all the rest of this up in here. So I think I'm gonna start up here and I'm just gonna kind of work my way down um, and, and uh, getting the water. And you can see what I've done here is I've just laid in some of what I see underneath, um, underneath the water. And uh, this, is how, this is my my method for painting water and reflections and things. The first thing I do is I look at what I can see that's under the water and I put that in. I see some sand that kind of rolls through here and it has kind of some dark some dark edges to it so I'm just going to put those in and then uh, it, it, uh, just sometimes you don't need much to just say you know if I can see a little sand here and this is the same color uh, of sand over here but it's a little deeper in the water, so it's not going to show up um, as bright as this. But but your eye will say, "Oh yeah, there's sand over here. There's sand over here." So it just tells you that it's it's fairly shallow uh, across there. So I'll work on this uh, this area here and kind of get this worked out down below. Uh, not as important at the moment as what's up above, but I'll get that going, and uh, uh, I like the start. I think we're in a good spot right now.
Hey, so I'm uh, I'm in the finishing stages um, of the painting now, and you can see I'm just uh, I'll show you here. I'm just adding some uh, details, and I've got the water surface details. I've got the uh, uh, the railing on the bridge, and I'm just right now kind of working on kind of those those boards that uh, cross the bridge. You can just see the end of them. So I'll show you what I've got here. This is where I'm at at the moment, and uh, so I'll work this water deal with some of these lighter values back here that need to be downplayed a little bit and uh, and get the uh, details in the upper portion of the bridge and uh, the key is not to overwork this there's a great uh, I've got some nice suggested things that have a tendency to, to kill and I don't want to do that so um, I'll uh, get this wrapped up and uh, and hopefully uh, hopefully I don't destroy it so wish for me but you'll see whether I do or not I guess before uh, well when you see the video you know yeah it's not like time traveling or anything but you'll see it what happened I don't know what's gonna happen yet but you'll see in just like a few seconds cool
Okay, so uh, this was pretty cool. Um, this is the uh, first time I, uh, I painted a sycamore and I can kind of see why uh, my buddy Richard Jordan, that's his favorite tree. And man, there's just so much color and texture and um, they really stand out um, in a landscape. So um, I'm glad I put it in. At first I was thinking, I don't want to destroy what I've got going with the bridge and everything with the sycamore, but I think it really adds something. So let me, let me show you how I finished up here. So this is what I've, uh, this is what I've got. And uh, I think I'm, man, I got really, I got really fussy down here, like a lot more fussy than I normally do. Um, but I was just kind of enjoying the different ways that the water, uh, the water's moving around uh, some of the objects on the right. And, uh, and maybe my, maybe my highlights are a little too, a little too bright I don't know I'll, I'll uh, take a look at it later on after I study it for a while and we'll see uh, we'll see what I think about it then as you know they sit around I look at them and sometimes I go back and change them but um, for the most part uh, this was a good experience I think doing a uh, you know painting water a couple weeks in a row here has uh, has actually been really helpful I'm, I'm looking below the surface I'm looking above the surface to see what kind of a uh, highlights and colors are existing there so I'm getting better so anyway thanks for uh, checking out my video as always and uh, don't forget to subscribe hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and uh, share it with somebody and say hey this guy's a pretty cool painter and I will uh, I'll catch you later